When the ooble of my double matches the dangle of my angle, my name is Neural House and we're back on Kotodama. And uh, we've just found out her secret. We've unlocked, well, we haven't found out the secret, we unlocked her mind. We're about to find out her secret. Looks like you were able to unlock Yukino's mind. I want to keep playing violin, but my parents are against it. They ordered me to focus on my studies and make me stop taking lessons, but I just can't quit. I'm addicted to the violins. I like to crumble the violin and snort it. Other times, well, other times it's even better to just inject it straight into my veins. So I've kept sneaking onto canvas at night. Canvas? Campus at night to inject my body with violins. And that's when I met the rumoured violinist. You kind of says that much before snapping back to her senses. Why did I? So she really has met him then. In that case, who exactly is the gentleman? It couldn't be a ghost, a suspicious figure. He's not like that. Fine, I'll introduce you to him. Then you'll see. Just promise you'll call your jets after this, okay? <laughs> I didn't think she'd introduce you directly. Well, that's good. We get to meet the man. I just, I've got I've got my ramen or my marble soda to some, so I'm feeling very Japanese schoolgirly. <sighs> Campus is kind of exciting at night. Keep it down, Anami. So why are you guys here again? Why isn't it obvious? Who else would investigate the wandering gentleman but the occult research club? It'd be weirder if he weren't here. <laughs> You know, shoots me a death stare. I never thought you Yukino would help us out with the occult research club. You said I was helping you. I'd rather not introduce him to people as rude as you guys. Now, now, no need to be like that. Oh, by the way, what's his name anyway? I don't know. Huh, you don't know? Really now? There you go again. Come on, you can tell us. Look, I really don't know. I never asked. I almost felt like I'd never see him again if I did. Oh, you're so cute, Yukino-chan. I swear I'll get you for this one day. Okay, let's just drop it for now and go already. After a bit of a commotion, we start walking with the Nami at the lead. Like crabs, we only walk sideways. Why is the Nami up front again? Yeah, that's because I'm the exp investigation expert. I already know exactly where we can infiltrate the building. That doesn't sound weird at all. Now follow me. The Nami leads us to the back of the building. The lock's broken on this window, so it's a piece of cake to open. The window rattles, but shows no sign that it'll open. Huh? It won't open. Now that's strange. You should open easily. I was sure the lock was broken. Did they change the lock for a new one? Yeah, that's how it works. So this is the window the janitor was talking about. Huh, are you stupid or something? Don't call me stupid, anyone could have made the same mistake, right? That's enough, follow me, this way. You can only lead us to a nearby door. Over here, now let's go in. Hey, it's not like you can just open this door, you know. Look who's stupid now. You can only ignores the Nami's bickering and turns to the doorknob. Opening the door with ease. Looks like you're still the stupid one. I made sure the door wouldn't lock properly this afternoon. <laughs> you got her there. Okay, let's forget about that idiot and just go already. Hey, fuck the idiot. Fuck that idiot. Screw that idiot. The music room is brightly lit by the moonlight. It looks like nobody's here. Wow, sure is atmospheric. I can see why the music room sets the stage for a lot of campus ghost stories. You're okay by here by yourself, you know? You're not scared? I'm fine. Why would I be scared? But what do we do from here? I always start practicing violin, and then just find him sitting there, listening. Okay then, by all means, Yukino. Now that you're the one asking me to do it, I kinda don't want to, but fine. I know, I know. Yukino takes the violin out of the case you've been carrying and gets into the playing position. Her face gets more serious than we'd ever seen it. Even the Nami surprised in silence. This isn't the time for music appreciation. Hopefully the gentleman comes though. You can finishes her song, silence. Not a trace of movement. Phew. He always shows up before I even finish one song. Oh well, I guess I'll play another one. Ah. Did you hear that? The Nami and Wakaba nod at each other and start dashing off. Go follow them. No time to be a slowpoke. 
Uh, hey, I give Monchan a nod and fly out of the music room. A new CG has been added to the collection. Oh, yeah. That way, Prez. On it. Away they go. Crabbing sideways. Bye. Oh my god. To the left? <laughs> Are you going to the left as well? Yeah, we're all going to go. We're going to the left. Doesn't he seem like he's playing with you? We're not catching up at all. Uh, what's with this guy? C could he be a ghost? Hey, come on now. Of course he couldn't. Oh, fuck. I just ran over something. What the fuck did I run over? Oh, I'm a little desk chair. I ran over something. I don't know what. Evening. Uh, there it is, the ghost. Calm down, Anami. The club president shines her phone light over the silhouette, revealing its owner. The tall blonde man smiles as he looks this way. Who are you? <laughs> Let's just say, I'm a campus demon. I am Steve Irwin. Demon? <laughs> I kid, I kid. It was just a joke. We like how you played along with it. You really human? Oh fuck! Oh, God damn! It's uh, computers are annoying. Do I not appear human? Yeah, he's most unfortunate. I'm now Cockney now. I can't, can't keep the accent in it. I must, I must admonish you for trespassing onto campus at this hour. Are you burglars? No, we're looking. Why am I giving him a Cockney accent? No, we're looking for the suspicious figure rumored to appear at night. What about you? Are you a burger? Burger, a burger. <laughs> you a burger? We can't point a finger dramatically at the incredibly burger-like human. Me? A burglar? Eh. I'm an amusing proposition. But I'm afraid it's incorrect. You see, I am... Go. A maintenance inspector. I inspect the maintenance around here. These parts, yeah. Uh, a maintenance inspector? Yeah. A simple maintenance inspector. My name is Taro Yamada. <laughs> Beautiful British name, innit? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Oh yes, you may call me whatever nickname you would like. Yamachan, Yamapi, Yamada Coon. <laughs> Anything at all, Teehee. <laughs> oh, why? I don't know why that's so funny. Tara Yamada, such a generic name in this day and age. You always question why his parents would curse him with it. Huh. Tara Yamada, huh? <laughs> I nod deeply. The disconnect between his name and his face is wide enough to drive a train through. And his accent. Don't forget his accent. Um, Yamada-san? What are you doing on campus this late? Playing it safe with Yamada-san, are we? Well, fine. Allow me to answer. It is quite difficult to do inspections and repair work while class is in session. That's the night shift. Now don't just leave me like that. Do you realise how hard it was to look for you? You're... Sorry, we met. Yamada Sound thinks for a while before clapping his hands in realisation. You must be the girl who shouted merrily in the gym in the middle of the night. Sound like you have fun. So you can have the time to go wild. N no, that's not me. Of course not. Oh, my apologies. You the girl who talked to the flowers at night then? So you can just kind of a screwball? No, wait, Nanami, you're the last person I want to hear that from. Oh, that not right either? Well, that's strange. Oh, fine, that's enough. Clearly dejected, Yukino gives Nanami a curious look. Well, I've never seen Yukino poo on the spot like this. <laughs> Tee hee, it's a joke. You're the, <laughs> you're the violin addict, aren't you? Yes, I am. In any fuck sake, I forgot to mute Discord as well. Oh, it's all gone to shit, lads. It's all gone to shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm Taro Yamada, and I'm British now. <laughs> oh, why did I give a British act like a Cockney accent? Anyway, right there we go. That's that muted. In any case, you usually practice alone, but today you've got a crowd. Rumors about you have started spreading around campus. People who don't know you are going to go on and on about how you're a ghost or suspicious figure. I just couldn't keep quiet about it. Oh, I've got a question for you, Yamada-san. Are you the wandering gentleman? Hmm? 
Tari Yamada tilts his head at Nanami's question. I am, I am a gentleman, and I guess you could say I've been wandering. <laughs> it was a little awkward talking in the dark, so he moves to the courtyard. From seemingly nowhere, Yamada-san brings out a beautiful tea set and treats us to tea and sweets. In no rational world does it make sense to have a tea party on campus at night, but Nanami, Wakaba, and even Yukino don't seem to see anything wrong. In fact, they seem quite comfortable. Yamada-san smiles as he listens to the girls talk about the seven mysteries. The wandering gentleman, huh? Ah, that is amusing. So a rumour like that is spreading around. <laughs> Why have I given the cockney act? It's even bugging me at this point. I'm sure someone else is annoyed. I guess you wouldn't expect rumours to spread about you. Blonde's hair on campus at night holding tea parties? Yeah, it's got to be. It's undoubtedly got to be Yamada-san, huh? In fact, the rumours are spreading about it must be the other, me and the other students haven't met him before. I nod at Monchan and Yamada-san's giggles. I kind of wish people wouldn't immediately suspect you or just kill you off. What? What? I make you out to be a ghost, honestly. Does everyone share a friendly chat with Kaba's phone chimes? Oh, would you look at the time? Indeed, let's go home before it's too late. Thanks for the tea party. Ah, should we call it a night then? Do you have any work after this too, Yamada-san? Yes, well, something like that. Sorry for bothering you. Hey, <laughs> don't worry. I quite enjoyed this little encounter. Be careful on your way home now, kids. Well, if you'll excuse us. Good luck with work. The sweets were delicious. As we thank him and start going on our way, I notice Tari Yamada staring at me. Is something wrong? You're... Nice, nah, it's nothing. Just please be careful, lad. Give you my understand a small nod before chasing after the others. Hey, I never expected we'd meet in a place like this, eh? Let's head, let Why? Why is that when my mind went with that character? I'm going to get a quick save it. You're staying at the dorm, so this is where we split up. Bye bye. You're a big help today, thanks. So you're just going to hang out with the occult research club from now on? Well, I won't stop you. I see the three of them off as they leave. Now then, it's time we head back to. I give Monchan a nod and start walking. Oh, we've seen us. We're fucked, innit? Oh, quacker. I hit quick save instead of fucking quacker. God damn it. Is that all done? Monchan? She's not responding. Did she go somewhere? Maintenance inspectors? T5? Seriously, what the fuck is with this place? Uh. Excuse moi. Well, thanks for that. Oh, no, that's a scary face, sister. You know, you beautiful looks go away, do you? Ah, just can't deal with you. I never expect to see you in a place like this. So that child is your. Well, that child is quite interesting at the very least. <laughs> well, what about you? Still looking? Well, yes, I suppose so. This academy is quite interesting, you see. Quite an entertaining place for human observation. Human observation, huh? Well, look who thinks they're the king of the world. Will you stop dawdling and carry out your mission already? Oh, how scary. Sister, would you please calm down? Look! <laughs> ha ha. It's quite a happy mistake to run into you here, sister. Yeah, worry not. I'm sure I'll find what I'm looking for soon. You know, apples and pears, apples and pears. And I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. And if you want to see more, listen, do subscribe to the channel. I upload every day. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.